Hi guys, Annette here. I have a gleaner's haul for you. It's Monday. It's the typical Monday gleaner's haul. Um, I thought I'd turn the camera on and show you what I got real quick. Um, also, in this haul, uh, I'm going to do a small grocery outlet haul and a small Fred Meyer haul. Um, and they're all just going to be together, but we're going to start with gleaners. Um, we got chickens in so that back there all wrapped up you can't tell what it is is a whole chicken um, they come from I believe these ones came from Costco for some reason or another um, the boxes of chicken get rejected by Costco they cannot be returned to the manufacturer um, and so if they do not get donated they would end up in the landfill so graciously the truck driver brought them to us and we get Costco chicken, which is awesome. So, um, since it's only my one day off, I will probably try and package that up for the freezer and make a space. Hopefully, um, freezer's kind of full, so hopefully I can make a space for that in the freezer. Um, and if not, it can sit in the fridge for a day or two, um, and then I can roast it on my next days off or even tomorrow if I absolutely had to, to just get it cooked and then I could eat off of it in the fridge as well. Um, so that was just an extra item, the chicken was. Then for specials, um, this, oops, apparently I'm dropping cans, sorry. Um, this uh, bag of pistachios was a small special. It was one small and one large. Um, pistachios, along with all other nuts, are super expensive. So these were supposed to be almost $10. And I got them at Gleaners, which is awesome. And I love pistachios, so I was super excited to get those. Then large special, um, there were two different things of cheese. There was about double the amount of this sliced, I think it's either white cheddar or, or Havarti, but I think it's white cheddar. Um, and then there was this, it was shredded, but it got kind of like smashed back together. Um, shredded mozzarella. And so that's probably why we got it, because it was, like, compressed in the bag. So, um, like I've said before, I shot for both my mom and I. So I got one of us this one as our large special, and one of us this one as our large special. And then at her house, we split it, so we both had a little bit of each. Um, so those were the special items. In the um, extra freezer, there were these pizza wraps. Uh, they're gluten-free sort of like a hot pocket thing, I believe. Um, it was one out of the freezer, but my mom decided she didn't want her, so I have both of them. I'm gonna pause you guys for just one second and get those cans off the floor so I can show you what else I got. Okay, so wall items, we were at four today, so it's gone down by one. Um, I saw this on the shelf. The bottle is the first thing that caught my eye because I love these bottles that you can re reuse that have the rubber seal on them. I think that that's awesome. So that was the first thing that caught my eye. But then look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Chipotle maple bacon barbecue sauce. Um, my mom's not a huge um, Chipotle fan. She thinks it's a little too spicy, but my dad and I really like it. So um, the next time we fire up the grill we are going to try this out and I bet it's going to be super good I was really I mean this is a pretty exciting find for me today um, and it says that they won a 2014 fiery food challenge winners so hopefully this is really good we're going to give it a try I got a can of cream of chicken soup I have um, a couple recipes I use with that so uh, I just picked one of those up and for some reason we haven't been having the cream soups very much so um, when I saw it I picked it up and I actually got one cream of chicken and one cream of mushroom and my mom chose the cream of mushroom which um, we both have recipes that we use both of them in but she had had some cream of chicken already in the pantry so um, so that's one two wall items uh, the next wall items I got are these Reynolds slow cooker liners I love these you do not have to clean the slow cooker. I mean, you have to clean the lid still, but the whole inside, you don't have to clean. You just lift this out and throw it right in the garbage. And they're not cheap at the grocery store. I want to say that these are about $3.50. So almost a dollar a liner because there's four in a box. Um, 
I've been able to get them on like Markdown or at discount stores before so for maybe like one or two dollars, which is really cheap. Um, but getting them at Gleaners is even better. So I picked those up. And then my fourth wall item was actually a five for one and it's cat food. They actually had some um, grain free cat food, which is exciting for me because that's what I try to feed my boys. Every once in a while they do get um, something that's not grain free, but overall I feed them um, higher end grain free food. Uh, so there's a few cans of Beyond cat food. Um, and apparently three different flavors. So that's cool. Um, this Imes, I don't believe is grain free. It doesn't say it on the label, but Imes is a, um, sort of a higher end, um, cat food, better at least than like Friskies or Fancy Feast or something. And it's only one small can, so not that big of a deal. And then this one I've never heard of before. Fresh Pet Select Chicken and Pumpkin Recipe. So we're going to give that one a try. So hopefully they like it. They're not too picky. So we'll give it a try. So those are for my boys. And apparently I just keep dropping them on the ground. Sorry about the noise. I um, showed you the cheese. I showed you those. So on to bread. Um, it was one sliced bread off the rack and one other. So there was a huge bag of bagels on the bread rack. Um, and so I got them and my dad and I shared them. Plus there's like um, a couple of other bagels from like the bins. But um, all of these um, everything bagel bagels were all in one huge bag. So my dad and I split those. Um, and then as my sliced bread, I got this English muffin bread, but there's no way I could go through it all. Um, so I took part of it in a sandwich bag home, a few slices for like toast and stuff to try out because I've never had it before. I've never had English muffin bread. And then I left the rest for my parents and my brother to try out. Um, pastries were two today. So there is a broken chocolate chip cookie and a tulip sugar cookie from Panera in there. And uh, it was one Panera like loaf today out of the bins. And this I believe is a sourdough loaf, which I love, one of my absolute favorites. So I picked that up. And that's another reason why I didn't, I absolutely did not need all that sliced bread because I have this too. And I might try and <laughs> see what I can squeeze in the freezer. Might try and stick half of this in the freezer too because it is so good and I really like it and I'd hate for it to go bad. And so on to vegetables. I got two mangoes. Um, they're a little worse for the wear, but I'm going to cut them up tonight um, and see what I can salvage from them. An orange, a lemon, a banana, and an apple. One each of those right there. Sorry about the cord and the way my phone was dead from working and not charging it. Two onions, that one's starting to sprout a little bit, but that's okay because I can go ahead and um, I'm probably going to use it tonight. Um, I'll show you in my grocery outlet haul that I got some like orange chicken that you just put in the oven. So I'm going to make stir fried vegetables to go with it. Um, there's some organic celery. It's looking a little pale, but I'll just get into that and uh, chop that up and make sure that all the, if there's any icky ends or anything, it's all cut off. Uh, red pepper, green pepper. And then it was two out of the produce cooler today. So I got these like little tiny bits of cauliflower. They're already all chopped up. And so it's like kind of like cauliflower rice. So I'm going to steam that and have that instead of actual rice with the stir fry vegetables um, and the orange chicken. And there is some organic peeled baby carrots. And that was also from the produce cooler. So that was my cleaner shop for the day. Um, really great. I mean, meat, cheese, veggies, bread, cat food. I mean, like some convenience food that I can throw in my um, 
work bag when I go to work, which is nice. So all in all, really, really good cleaners haul. Um, if you guys have any questions about gleaners, please leave them below. And if you live in the Skagit Valley, you should check it out. Also, um, I have a fellow gleaner who has a YouTube channel. Uh, it's Pamela and, um, her channel name, I believe is Wiki Pamela. So you guys should check out her channel. And, um, she did a video all about what gleaners is. So you should check that out. And she also does Gleaners Hauls as well. So if you'd like to see more Gleaners Hauls, check hers out too. I'm going to pause you guys and get all the stuff all put away and in the fridge and everything else. And then I will bring you back for the grocery outlet haul. All right, guys, here's my small um, grocery outlet haul. I went in with a purpose today and I really didn't need much. You know, with the gleaning program especially, um, I don't have to buy too much. I was just stocking up for the week. Um, we're really hit or miss on milk at Gleaners and I really do prefer organic milk. Um, my favorite is grass fed organic milk. It tastes so good. Um, but a lot of times grocery outlet has organic milk. Um, so I thought I'd just check there. Um, and I did want lunch meat and salami and some of the other things were just, um, luck and um you know a really good deal so I picked them up so um I got two of these um quart containers of horizon organic whole milk um these are you can see there these are UHT so um that means that they're actually ugh, excuse me shelf stable it stands for ultra high temp. They're pasteurized and uh, put into these cartons at a higher temperature than regular pasteurization and it makes them shelf stable. Sorry about the kitties in the background. Um, these are, were $1.49, which makes it $3 for a half gallon, which is pretty comparable. Um, I can get organic milk um, at uh, my Fred Meyer store, usually their brand of organic milk is on sale for $2.99 for a half gallon. So comparable. Uh, the nice thing about this is, is that I can keep one in the fridge and keep one in the pantry until I need to use it. And it's a smaller container, which is nice. Um, UHT milk does have a slightly different taste, a slightly maybe scalded or cooked taste. Um, so be prepared for that if you choose to get UHT milk. Um, I don't mind it. I can drink it as long as it's cold. I can drink it straight from the, like from a glass. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, it's not quite like as sweet maybe as, uh, fresh milk. Um, but in cooking, you can't tell a difference at all because you're heating it anyway. So if you're cooking with it, like making biscuits and gravy or some kind of milk gravy or macaroni and cheese or a white sauce or something like that, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. So it's great to have in your pantry for when like, oops, you need milk for a recipe and either you're out or it went bad or whatever. So, um, I like to keep, keep that on hand and it's nice that these ones are organic. Um, crescent rolls I use every once in a while. I will admit I use them mostly to wrap around some kind of like sausage or hot dog because I guess it's the kid in me. I really actually enjoy that every once in a while. Um, these are probably pretty close to the date. I didn't check um, because they were $1.29 for the entire package. There's four tubes, I believe, in there of crescent rolls. Um, I've had crescent rolls two or three weeks past the date in the fridge and they baked up fine. No problems. Uh, nobody got sick. They were completely fine. They didn't taste off or anything. So I'm not too worried about those being a little close to the date. Um, there is a bag of, that's the bag of orange chicken that I'm going to make for dinner tonight. Um, it was only $3.99 for two pounds. Um, the size pieces feel really decent in there. I'll show you the brand in case you need to see what it is. Rimrock Farms. Um, they have a different brand of Asian chickens with sauce there like uh, I think they have general so's and Szechuan chicken or something like that um and I tried that before and it was okay but the chicken pieces were kind of small and it was pretty heavily breaded 
I didn't feel like you got that much chicken. So I wanted to try this one out and see if it's any better. Um, I got just one more container of the Philadelphia whipped cream cheese because it's only a dollar, which is a really good price for that. And um, we get bagels from Gleaners a lot and I really do enjoy a good bagel and cream cheese. Um, my dad's from the East Coast and bagel and cream cheese is quite popular. Uh, they all like it with lox, which is kind of like smoked salmon. I do not partake of that, but I do like a bagel with cream cheese. Um, another thing that I got that they have there frequently, but it's usually more expensive, is this uh, fresh marinated mozzarella. Um, it's marinated with like herbs and um, olive oil. And it's kind of close to the day. I think the sell by date or it is in a day or two, but I'll just use these. Um, I'll probably take them in my lunch to work. And so I'll eat them up. They're so, 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 so good. Um, and you can make a really good appetizer if you... Um, if you like cherry or grape tomatoes, you can use the marinated mozzarella, a couple leaves of basil, and a cherry or grape tomato, and you have a little like caprese salad on a skewer. So those are really good. Just an idea. Um, and then another thing that I got is Kerrygold. I really love Kerrygold butter. It's delicious. If you've never tried Kerrygold butter, it's out of this world. Um, their Dubliner cheese... Um, usually comes in like a, it comes in like a solid cheese form, like a gratable cheddar like texture, I believe. Um, but this is like the cheese wedges, like the soft ones. And so I thought I'd give that a try. Um, it was only 99 cents, which for Kerrygold is pretty much like amazing. Um, and I don't know how many are in here. The date is like pretty far away 52717 and we're only in we're only at 3 I think it's 327 actually today so a couple months away for that so if these are good they had quite a few if these are good I may go back and get some more to keep in the fridge because 99 cents for um, a good brand of cheese wedges is really great because Kerrygold milk um is not certified organic, but it is from grass-fed cows. So the butter and the cheese is really good quality because the cows that they get the milk from are grass-fed. So if I can get Kerrygold for a good price, um, I do. So I'm gonna try those. Then as far as meat goes, I got these Alfresco um, sweet apple chicken sausage with pure Vermont maple syrup. The Alfresco brand is a pretty popular brand around here, pretty high end. Um, they are considered all natural. The uh, sell or use by date is not until May 15th, so you still have over two weeks to use these, um, keeping them in the fridge. You could also always throw them in the freezer. Um, and these were only $1.99. These are probably like $4.99 in the regular grocery store, at least. Um, so I thought I would give those a try. And if these are good, I may go back and see if they have more. Um, for me, I do like apple um, chicken sausage, but it depends on how sweet they are. If these are too sweet, I may not like them that much, and so I might not get another package, and that's the only reason why I only got one. Um, and the sweet apple was the only flavor that they had. So if they are good, I might go back and get some more, but for now, I just picked up one to try them. I got some more of this uncured natural soprasata. Um, salami. The date for this is used by 6317, so very far away for that. Um, this salami is very good. I've gotten it, um, I think, at least two, if not three times now from a grocery outlet, and it's very tasty. And I'm a huge salami and cheese fan. Like, I can sit down and have salami and cheese and some good crackers for dinner. Like, that's, I think it's delicious, and I can eat that for dinner. I also take it to work a lot for like my lunch or snack at um, work for my 12 hour shift. Um, I got two of these Sara Lee honey ham. They are close to the date as well. I may throw one in the freezer, one in the fridge. Um, 99 cents for, ooh, 10 ounces. I thought they were eight ounces. So you get um, just six ounces, a little over half a pound of, um, honey ham 
for 99 cents. So 20 ounces altogether for $1.99. You cannot get a pound of honey ham for $1.99. Like you can't. So even though it's close to the date, it's, there's not anything wrong with it. Um, even if you eat, if it's sealed and you eat it a couple days past the use by date on the package, I guarantee you it will be fine. It's not going to magically expire on the date on the package. Um, if you keep it in the fridge for like three months past that date, no guarantees, but you know, a few days, maybe even a week, I'm sure it will be fine. And like I said, you can always throw it in the freezer or you can pre-make your kids sandwiches if they're for school lunches and you can freeze the whole sandwiches in the freezer. And then all your kids have to do, or all you have to do in the morning is pull them out of the freezer and put them in the lunch box. Um, if you have the freezer space to do that. Last but not least, of course butter. Um, I have been running low on butter. I have not found any great deals on butter lately. Um, I did get a brick of eight ounce, eight ounce brick of Kerrygold for $2.99 at Fred Meyer, uh, last week. And that's what I've been using this week on like my toast and stuff. Um, it's a pretty decent price actually for my area. And so I just picked it up because it sounded really good. Um, but I use, um, butter, uh, in most recipes like baking, especially, uh, exclusively. Um, I do have some organic shortening that I will use. Um, and for certain recipes I will use lard, but I do not use margarine or, um, like traditional shortening at all. Like no Crisco, no blue bonnet, no country crock. I don't use that. Um, I don't think that it's real food. So I choose not to eat it. Um, if you're wondering, the organic shortening is um, palm kernel oil, which is naturally saturated, so it's solid. Um, so this Lando Lakes butter was a great price, um, $3.99 for a two-pack, so two bucks a piece for um, a pound of butter, which is awesome. Um, I do prefer salted butter, and this is salted butter. Um, if a recipe, like a baking recipe, calls for unsalted butter, I just cut the salt down in the recipe that it calls for because every recipe that you bake with, even if it calls for unsalted butter, it will call for, for you to put salt in the recipe. Um, salt brings out actually the sweetness of the sugar and stuff when you are cooking or baking. Salt helps bring the other flavors out in your food. So um, I just prefer the salted butter, especially if I'm going to use it on toast or to put on some heated up vegetables like steamed vegetables or something I prefer the butter to be salted um oh and I guess I skipped over this one because it wasn't meat when I was doing the meat earlier this is a Mrs. Dash table blends spicy um it's pepper and garlic spicy pepper and garlic it was 50 cents so I thought why not give it a try um they had another one it was like a barbecue sweet barbecue or something that one didn't sound as good to me. So I just picked this one up um, and I actually have my receipt. You guys should like, that's crazy. I never can find my receipt. Usually it's shoved in my purse somewhere, but I remembered this time that I was gonna try and show you guys this haul. So I shoved it in with the food instead. So we'll scan the receipt here really quick. So there's the Mrs. Dash for 50 cents. Oh, I need to go get um, the clean sensations for $5.99. Um, it's, I already put it on my dryer. So I'll go, um, at the end, I'll pause the video and go grab it and show you what those are. Um, the rock orange is the, um, orange chicken for $3.99. The apple chicken sausages for $1.99. Salted butter, um, two pounds for $3.99. What was $1.99? like I don't know what that's for huh okay whatever uh, the crescent rolls oh I'm sorry they were $1.49 I thought they were $1.29 but still really good price um, there is the Dubliner Kerrygold cheese 99 cents uh, honey ham two at 99 for $1.98 Kraft cream cheese 99 cents and two of the milks at $1.49, so $2.98. And the salami for $2.99. Oh, that, oddly enough, I think is the chicken sausage. 
because that's the other, the other thing that was $1.99. So that must be the chicken sausage. So my total today was $30.38. $29.87 and then tax was $0.51 um, because I got the Clean Sensations scented Arm & Hammer laundry crystal thingies that I'll show you here in a minute. So those were taxed and it says I saved $67.10 which is double plus what I spent. Awesome! I find that super exciting. So if you have a grocery outlet in your area definitely try them out. Um, some of the food is close to the date. If you notice a big sale sign and it's really cheap, check the date because that's usually why it's marked down so much. If it's actually past the date, they put a sign on it usually saying that it's past the date um, and it would be very, very, very inexpensive. Um, but most of the stuff in grocery outlet is within the dates. Um, they have fresh produce, milk. Um, they're pretty much like a regular grocery store except what they offer does rotate depending on what they get. Um, so you're not guaranteed to get the same things all the time there. But they have a great like deli selection, um, great freezer selection. So I definitely encourage you to check them out. One of my favorite stores, and we've been shopping at this grocery outlet since it was literally a canned food outlet. Like it had canned and boxed food and that was it. And a lot of the stuff was past the date. Um, and we've been shopping there I'd say I've been shopping there for, oh, it's over 20 years now, going with my, starting going with my mom. So yeah, um, definitely check them out and I will bring you guys back um, to show you that laundry stuff and then the Fred Myers haul. All right guys, so here's the Arm & Hammer Clean Sensations scent booster laundry stuff. Um, they're pretty much like the Unstoppables, I believe. Um, it's in-wash freshness booster. So I'm pretty sure it's the same thing pretty much as the Unstoppables, except it's more, um, I think that's supposed to be like a picture of it. If you can see that, it's more of like a crystallized looking product. Um, it smells really fresh and really good. Um, it says long lasting freshness uh, with pure baking soda. I actually like Arm & Hammer laundry detergent. I find it works really well for me um, and it's not as expensive as some laundry detergents. Um, I've really been wanting this though for when I make my homemade detergent. Right now um, I have detergent that I got at Gleaners. I have detergent that I got couponing. Um, so I'm kind of stocked up on commercial laundry detergents right now. So I don't, I didn't necessarily like need this because I do use dryer sheets and stuff too. Sometimes I got a big thing of dryer sheets a while back from Gleaners and haven't even worked through it yet. Um, but when I do make my own laundry soap the next time, I want to make it in powder form because I have a top loader, like old style with the agitator machine that uses like a significant amount of water. Um, so I don't feel like my soap needs to be liquid and I feel like the liquid takes up a huge amount of space like a five gallon bucket of laundry soap granted it lasts for a very long time is still like a very big thing so um, I think I'm gonna grate everything blend it up and just use like a tablespoon per load and see how that goes um, the only thing that I was worried about is when I made it liquid when I made my own laundry soap liquid I would add essential oils into it and that would make it scented. But I was worried about clumping and everything with um, trying to add essential oils into my dry laundry detergent. So um, I will just use a scoop of my laundry detergent and a scoop of this and my clothes will be nice and fresh because I like a little scent to my laundry. I'm not overpowering, but um, I definitely like a little bit of scent and especially my sheets and stuff. You know, it's so nice when you put on fresh sheets and they smell like nice clean fresh laundry um, and I liked that these said that they were inspired by nature so they're not like super powerful I put a hole in the top of the package and kind of like squeezed it so I could smell it and it smells very good and very fresh um, and these were $5.99 for both containers which is a great price I've been kind of like looking at the unstoppables and um, similar products to the unstoppables and they're just so expensive even at Costco with a coupon I just I think it was like 
$12 or something for the container. And that was with the coupon price. So, um, I just, it was too expensive for me and I just couldn't do it. So when I saw both of these for $5.99, I thought that is something that I can try. $3 a bottle. Good for me. So that's my grocery outlet haul. This video is getting so long. Um, I will try to make my Fred Meyers one shorter. Um, that's attached to this as well. And, um, yeah, so I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, Fred, my little tiny Fred Meyers haul. Um, one thing not pictured, um, one of the main reasons why I went there, um, is I needed new fluorescent tube lighting. My kitchen, um, I live in a townhouse and I do not own it. I rent, um, and the kitchen has, a uh, fluorescent, like a fluorescent tube lighting in it. And, um, they don't go out very often, but, um, they finally did again. I mean, I think it's like, I've been here nine years and this is only the second time they've gone out. So, um, they probably last like a good four years before they have to be replaced, but, um, they've been out for a little while. Um, and so I needed to get some new ones. So I got those and then I, um, always check their clearance produce, um, just to see what they have. It's kind of like in a hidden spot. So if you go into Fred Meyers, ask um, an employee where the markdown produce is because it's like kind of hard to describe too. So um, everything that's in these mesh bags though in the produce department clearance is a dollar. So it really doesn't matter what, what they put in the mesh bag, they just charge you a dollar for it. Like this coupon code here is just a dollar. So um, I always check them what they have because sometimes if there's like three apples or something in there for a dollar, especially when I get them from gleaners, not a very good deal. There's no reason really for me to get them, but two mangoes for a dollar is awesome. And these are really firm. They have a few little spots like on the skin, but, um, they're really firm. There's no soft spots, no bad spots at all. So those, um, I'm going to actually leave on the counter for a few days to get a little softer. Um, and then I'll be able to eat those. And I'm going to cut up the ones I got from Gleaners tonight and be able to eat those over the next couple days. Uh, I'm a huge mango fan. I think that they are super delicious. Um, so two for a dollar, great price for some mangoes. Um, then they had organic zucchini on for $1.49, which uh, for $1.49 a pound, which was 10 cents cheaper than the traditional zucchini. The traditionally grown zucchini was $1.59 a pound. So definitely check your like sales circular and don't be afraid to look in the organic produce and see what they have on sale for organic produce in your grocery store. Um, because right now the organic zucchini is cheaper than the traditionally grown zucchini. Um, I do like to get organic zucchini because um, zucchini are um, one of the few things that are um, like of green vegetables that are genetically modified and they don't have to be labeled. So, um, I prefer to try and avoid genetically modified ingredients. I do eat some things, um, some non-organic corn items just because you really can't, it's so hard to get away from like, um, I like, I love the Juanita chips and I'm sure that the corn in them is genetically modified and it's made with soybean and canola oil, which I try to avoid as well, but I don't eat those chips every day either. So, um, there is a zucchini and I want that for the stir fry tonight. So I'm going to have a zucchini green beans were $1.49 a pound. Great price. I just got a little bunch to put in a stir fry. And then I really wanted some snap peas, but they're, um, no snow peas. Excuse me. I wanted some snow peas Four ninety nine a pound. I'm like, no, not happening. So I ran, I always peruse the vegetable stack section, all the sections actually. And I look for the markdown stickers. Um, and I saw this veggie tray marked down $3.99 has a bunch of snap peas, which can st you can stir fry just like snow peas. Um, I don't mind the snap peas stir fried and I also like them raw. So then I can just have them as snacks for work for the next couple days too. Um, some baby carrots already cut up a bell pepper, which is awesome. I'm going to throw that in the stir fry and cherry tomatoes which I do not like. I don't like tomatoes unless I happen to cook them. So if I'm not going to cook anything with these, um, I'll probably just take them to my mom and dad's and see if they want to eat them. 
If not, they can end up in the compost pile or whatever because for $3.99, um, the snap peas alone with the carrots and the bell pepper. I mean, bell pepper is so expensive now too. Um, that that's a great deal. And I do get a lot of vegetables at cleaners today. Wasn't a huge vegetable day at cleaners though. So I picked up a few, um, supplemental ones here for my big stir fry that I'm going to make. And then I also looked in the ad and the chuck roasts are on sale for $2.97 a pound amazing price for beef. Um, beef is very expensive. Um, I know it's more expensive and less expensive depending on where you live. Um, but where I live 297 for beef is awesome. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this yet. I have no plans for it. I do have one in the freezer when it was just recently on sale. Oh, probably two or three weeks ago for 297. Um, last week, the round roasts were on for 299. And um, I sliced that up and put in the freezer to use for beef stroganoff. I use, my brother also got one and I made beef stroganoff with it at my parents' house and it turned out really good. Um, I just sliced it up myself. Um, and I looked this week and those same round roasts are up to $5.99 a pound. Um, so just last week they were $2.99 a pound and now they're $3, they're twice as much money to get them this week as they were last week. So. Um, when beef is this price, I pick it up because you just can't, I mean, I can't usually even get a decent fat quantity of ground beef for $2.97 a pound. And I do have a grinder attachment on my KitchenAid mixer. So if I absolutely did not want to make this into any kind of like roast or shredded beef or something like that, I could actually put it through the grinder on my, um, KitchenAid meat grinder and make ground beef out of it. So... Um, if I find beef for $3 a pound or less, I usually pick it up. So that's my little Fred Meyers haul. Like I said, not much. I just went in for a couple of things and, um, I think I'm going to get some dinner going cause it's 5:30, and, um, this video will probably be posted while I'm working tomorrow. So you guys will see it either late on Tuesday or early on Wednesday morning and uh sorry i haven't been on much i do have some plans for some videos coming up um i'm gathering up supplies to remake my spring wreath so you guys will see that crafty video um and hopefully some more cooking ones coming up on my next days off my last days off were just kind of busy we went and visited my little niece and that just consumes me <laughs> and my time and um i'm okay with it so um i love to hear from you guys though and uh questions comments concerns anything let me know and um please like please subscribe please thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys later bye